And Lonnie Bridges joins us from Paragon Casino Resort with the details on all the latest happening at Paragon Casino. Lonnie, thank you so much for joining us today. It's a pleasure to be here as always, Natalie. Of course, and I understand that March is a special month and y'all do a lot in the community as Paragon Casino. Well, absolutely. Uh, March is called PGAM, which stands for Problem Gambling Awareness Month. Um, one of my responsibilities at Paragon Casino is also to serve within the public realm. I have been a member of the LACG, which stands for the Louisiana Association on Compulsive Gambling, for over 15 years. Wow. Most recently serving as past president. So, uh, under the leadership of Chairman Marshall Preet and General Manager Marshall Ray Sampson Sr., part of uh, the executive goals is to spread awareness and be active within the community. Uh, one of my functions is looking at certain situations and seeing how we can help improve. Yes, Paragon Casino is known for gambling. It's known for gambling entertainment. But just like with many things, there are some people who are unable to enjoy just simple entertainment and they become addictive. So one of my roles is to spread awareness that yes, gambling is a known addiction, but most importantly, to let people know that there are treatments out there, ways to where we can help people get better. Wow, that's fantastic how you're doing that as a casino, too, as well. So tell me, what are some of the signs of um, a, a person maybe having a gambling problem or compulsive gambling as opposed to just gambling for fun? Okay, well, some of the signs of, for, in for instance, um, the need to continue to gamble. Uh, financially is one of the biggest signs that people will notice is because whenever it starts to affect financials, that's a notable. But what people don't realize is uh, problem gamblers are affected many ways. It f affects them psychologically, uh, socially, physically, mentally, as well as vocationally. So anytime that gambling or any kind of addiction adds a situation into your life to where it complicates your way of living, then it becomes a problem. Those are signs. Uh, things you look for too is like a continuation of gambling, uh, gambling beyond your means. Uh, people not going to work because they're gambling or they start doing things illegally such as bouncing checks or borrowing money. So these are all signs and symptoms that there's a gambling problem. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is for a uh, problem gambling awareness month, there are two primary goals that we have. First of all, we want to increase public awareness that problem gambling does exist. We also want to know, let people know that there's availability uh, for treatment, uh, for prevention, and for recovery services. Um, and secondly, we like to talk about the encouraged health care providers locally to start screening people for problem gambling. Absolutely. Well, let's start with step one. If you or a loved one or a friend maybe has a problem, what's the first step? One of the things that we do is we have an 800 number. We really simplified it. Under the uh, NCPG, which is the National Council for Problem Gambling, we have this new unified number that we use called 1-800-GAMBLER. Again, 1-800-GAMBLER. By calling that particular number, um, someone will pick up on the phone and be able to answer your questions and point you in the right directions. Our facility is located in Shreveport, Louisiana. It's called CORE. CORE stands for the Center of Recovery. And we do have licensed people and professionals who will pick up and screen phone calls and answer those questions. Wow. They will point you in the right direction. They will let you know what local facilities within your parish or municipality that you can go to. Now, another thing I want to bring out to everybody awareness is at our facility at Louisiana Association of Compulsive Gambling, it's led by a wonderful executive director. Her name is Janet Miller. She does wonderful things. Not only do we answer the hotline for problem gamblers, we also answer the hotlines for substance abuse as well as suicide prevention. Not only just for the state of Louisiana, but even for within our nation. Wow. That's impressive. Right. Our, we have a facility. We do inpatient and outpatient treatment. Our facility at CORE houses, we can house people, and there's a 28-day program to where you can come. This is free of charge for everyone who is a resident of Louisiana. Wow. So if you have a problem gambling, you can come for a 28-day program. Uh, we'll pay for the foods. We pay for the residency. We pay for the medications. We pay for the doctors. The whole nine yards, because this is part of you being a residency and part of our state taxes and the contributions from casinos and other areas. Wow, that is great to know. Now, remind us about that 1-800 number that people can call. Yes, the number is 1-800-GAMBLER, G-A-M-B-L-E-R. 
That's a national hotline that will tie it in so it can ask any, answer any questions pertaining to gambling. What we realize too is the people who call that number aren't necessarily the people with the compulsion to gamble. The people who normally call it is the families that are affected by it, loved ones, mothers, daughters, brothers, cousins, best friends, because they'll call and get the information and find out what's available and then link that with the person who may have the problem. Because mm -hmm. a compulsive gambler just not only affects themselves, it affects their family lives. And if they work for an organization, it can affect that organization's business as well. Absolutely. Well, there are a lot of great resources out there for problem gambling. Lonnie, thank you so much for coming on the show and telling us all about it. We appreciate it so much. It's my pleasure. Of course. And we'll be right back with more Good Days in Law right after this break.